Okay, here we are with the um, the Tektronix scope I was trying to put back together. This is like an electronics marathon weekend here. Now that we don't have to shovel snow or do any of that baloney. But we have this Tektronix 2465 scope, which was my very own from some time ago. But uh, in all the moves and whatnot, moving here and there and, uh, and uh, you know, moving locations. This was stored a number of years, but I've always taken care of it. But uh, what happened was where it was stored, the roof had leaked in one place. It didn't get wet, but just being stored for months in the moisture really took its toll on this thing. I've, I, uh, I, turned, uh, I would turn it on every now and then, and it would, uh, you know, the trace would come up, and it was fine. But uh, lately, uh, last time I tried it, after discovering another room that I had stored it in had a leaky uh, siding and whatnot, water is the enemy you know and it uh, I turned it on and it went whoop it just did not turn on at all it was very sad very sick and I located the problem down to uh, this has a processor on the side this board here a chip with all the fuzzy dust on it that's the CPU that runs the whole show this is one of the first portable scopes here and there's two Achilles heels of this thing um, I'll get to that in a minute what I had to do to get the scope running, having no idea what the problem was, is I, I did rebuild the power supply to the best of my ability at the time. And the trouble of why it's not put back together is um, due to the fact that those capacitors there, the power capacitors on this power supply board, uh, physically too, fit, too big to fit, so I can't put the fan and the shroud back in uh, for the fan. I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, getting back to the initial repair I did is I, I, I managed in this day and age to actually find I localized it I don't know how down to this board the CPU here being defective or something in that area so I went ahead and I, I actually found I sourced a, a board for this thing and I paid dearly for it but the gentleman ships it and it doesn't have the CPU in it which is what's what's needed so what I did was uh, overseas, I went to England or something, and I found a CPU for it and paid dearly for that, too. It's like the only one in the world, it seems. And uh, I placed that in it. I ordered a second board from the gentleman, too, and uh, that one had the CPU or it didn't work properly or something. So I, I sourced another CPU from jolly old England, and I've got the thing running. Now, again, it's been stored. I haven't plugged it in probably in a year since I uh, I got it running and uh, I'm dying to see what it does now because I've ordered the capacitors here to replace the originals so we can get to work on some of these other things around here. Get the test equipment going then we can go forward on what we're trying to do here. So I'm going to plug this in in a minute to see what happens. Hopefully it all comes nice. Um, what I've done in the meantime, I did resource the uh, service manual in PDF format, but uh, I have to tell you folks about the, uh, if you don't have the Google Drive yet, uh, I, I, I suggest you uh, you get it. It comes free with your email, 5 gig. So that's plenty of, plenty of space. So I've gone and I've stored the um, things I find on the web, and I, I did somewhere here, I'll scroll down. Where is the manual? I just thought I had it up here. The manual... The manual for the Tektronix is here somewhere. The Tektronix 2465B. Here's somebody. Here's somebody that, that you can download it or you can view it in Google itself. But here's another gentleman who had his, and he rebuilt. He had trouble with his turning on and blowing out or something. So he goes through the whole thing, and those are the two capacitors there that I uh, I'm replacing. They weren't bad, mind you, but I I figured well they're from oh whatever year it was 1990 so this is some uh, supporting literature that that's good so um, oh I want to mention the other uh, the other Achilles heel of the scope is this chip right here is the horizontal sweep chip and he's gone ahead and put a heat sink on it because that's uh, this used a lot of hybrid uh, hybrid chips uh, exclusively made from Tektronix that are no longer available so he does say the U800 hybrid horizontal amplifier failure these scopes are prone to that this one does not have that problem but I'm toying with the idea here of uh, placing a heat sink 
on that horizontal deflection chip. I don't know if it isn't broken, don't fix it, they say. But uh, see, where is that chip on mine? It's this one right here with the red dot on it. So uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to put a heat sink on that or not. I, I probably, I, I would guess it probably wouldn't hurt to put some aluminum uh, radiation on it, put a radiator on it so it can uh, not have that problem because that's the Achilles heel of this particular line of scopes of 2465 is that that ship's prone to fail due to overheating. Again, uh, I'm going to try this momentarily to see what it does. Okay, after a year or so in storage, would repairs still needing to be completed here? Meaning put the caps, the cabinets, pieces back together. Luckily I have the uh, service manual. I have this box of parts. This is what happens. I, you start a project and then you hit a, a stop for parts or whatever you need. Then you get all these parts you have to put back and to rely on memory alone at this stage is really something. So I have all the shrouds, all the parts, the fan turbine, the motor, voltage controlled motor there. But uh, let's just see if we can get back to the baseline where we were with this thing operational. So we're going to turn it on. And it used to work. It never used to come on at all before. It would just sit there and flash, 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 and go crazy. But let's take a look if we can bring up any kind of display on this thing. Oh, heavens, it still works. So what I'm hoping is I will put a signal in it, and hopefully it will work. It appears to be working. I'll touch the probe here to see if we got some signal here. Yeah, we do. So that's a good sign. So we'll try the scope. The scope put back, so we can move forward with some things here that are in need of repair.